My name is Tim Davis. I'm a consultant hand surgeon in Nottingham and I'm going to discuss the treatment of Dupuytren's disease and Dupuytren's contracture. Dupuytren's contractures are fibrous cords in the palm of the hand which bend the fingers into the palm so that you cannot straighten them fully. The condition is not usually painful but the inability to straighten the fingers causes loss of function. It is important to consider treatment for your Dupuytren's contracture as if left the finger may bend further and further into the palm of the hand. This may make treatment at a later date very difficult and sometimes impossible. Treatment for Dupuytren's contractures should be considered when the finger is causing problems with hand function. This is usually when you find it impossible to put your hand flat on a tabletop. There are several treatment options for Dupuytren's contracture and you should ask your consultant to discuss these with you so that you can decide which is the best for you. The aim of all of the treatments is to try and straighten the finger as much as possible and this should improve function. Unfortunately, after any treatment for Dupuytren's contracture, a new contracture can form and bend the finger up again. This may require further treatment. There are three common treatments for Dupuytren's contractures. The first is open surgery in which an incision is made in the hand and the fibrous cord which has bent the finger up is removed. This usually straightens the finger but may not get the finger fully straight. The surgery has a recovery time of four or more weeks and can cause problems which can restrict hand function. There are two alternative options which can both be performed in a clinic room. One is to use a hypodermic needle to pierce the skin over the Dupuytren's cord and then cut the cord with the needle tip so as to break it. This usually allows the finger to straighten but it may not straighten as well as it would with open surgery. The other treatment is to inject an enzyme called collagenase into the Dupuytren's cord. This dissolves the cord over the next 24 to 48 hours so that it can then be snapped by the surgeon manipulating your finger at another clinic appointment. The benefit of these two smaller procedures is that they both have quick recovery times. The disadvantage is they may not be as effective as open surgery at straightening the finger and also that the risk of the finger bending back up again after treatment due to a new contracture forming is greater. You do not need to have treatment for your Dupuytren's contracture but you should be aware that if you leave your contracture untreated your finger may continue to bend further and further into the palm. Thus if you do not have treatment you should keep an eye on the contracture as the further it bends into the palm the more difficult the surgery to try and straighten it. Furthermore, it may become impossible to straighten the finger fully. The treatment of Dupuytren's contracture is complicated and each treatment option has its good points and bad points. So you need to discuss the relative benefits and drawbacks of each treatment with your consultant so that you can decide which is best for you.